Hey guys, Earl here of Fugatech, and today we're going to share with you something special from Infinix in their latest call-up with the BMW Group. Infinix has had a great run with the Note 30 series this year, starting off with the Note 30 5G back in June, which was just under 10,000 pesos when it was released in the Philippines, and then followed by the Note 30 VIP in July for just a hair under 14,000 pesos. Now, Infinix is making a special edition called the Infinix Note 30 VIP Racing Edition, designed in partnership with the BMW Group's Design Works. So, what is it all about and what makes it different and special? Well, we just happen to have the entire Racing Edition package here with us to unbox and show you. So, let's go ahead and run that OBV. So, this huge dark gray box came to the Yugatex Studio and we are thinking this could be more than just a smartphone inside, right? Well, let's open it. So, Right here we have that signature BMW stripe right here. Let's pull it right out of this box. Okay. And lifting this thing up, you should see. Ooh, you have this carbon-like finish right here, which says push the limits, embrace the speed. We are greeted with an Infinix Racing Edition pamphlet. I guess this is some sort of like a certificate. And there you have it. We have the Note 30 VIP, the phone itself. And we have a XE27 immersive sound, which I presume a headphones. So let's check that out. Oh, nice. So we have here, of course, the USB Type-C cable extra ear tips and of course the headphones itself wow you see that so it comes in this dark blue colorway which inside we have this mustard yellow which is a very nice contrast and this is the headphones or the TWS whatever you want to call it and now setting this thing aside we have a wireless a 15 watt wireless charger and now let's open that up as well we have this puck right here which has the 15 watt logo as well as the wireless charge text right here it's pretty minimalist if you would ask me and underneath that oh there's nothing underneath that it charges via the usb type c which i presume you're gonna be using the one inside the phone. So let's set that aside for now. And there's more underneath the box. So we have here, so you pull that top right out. We have a card. So we have a No30 VIP card right here, which has this carbon-like finish to it. Pretty nice. As well as a cute little keychain for your keys or whatnot, pretty nice. And now let's go ahead and check out the main part of the show, the phone itself. Okay, so setting that one aside, let's take a closer look on the Note 30 VIP BMW edition. Lifting up the lid, we have the phone itself. There you go. We have this, we have it in this metallic red finish and has this full leather texture at the back, which is pretty nice. Now setting that one aside, we have a cute little SIM ejector tool. Well, unfortunately, it's not a BMW something design type of SIM ejector tool like what we've seen on other collaborations from other brands, but hey, at least we have this. We have a uh, clear case, which is a hard case. As you can see, and there's a JBL logo right there. Underneath that, we have again, a Note 30 VIP card, which is, I think, the same card as what we saw earlier in the box. Now we have the 68 watt power brick, which unfortunately is not USB Type C, but hey, it's a 68 watt power brick. It will juice this device pretty, pretty fast. And of course, we have Type C to Type A cable for data transfers as well as for juicing up your Infinix Note 30 VIP edition. Now, setting this thing. Aside, we can take a very close look of this, the Infinix Note 30 
VIP BMW edition. So what makes the Note 30 VIP Racing Edition stand out from the regular model is the application of Infinix 3D Lighting Leather Technology. And what is it about? The 3D Lighting Leather integrates lights into the leather back of the phone. And this is done by pairing a thermoplastic polyurethane or TPU with colorful LED lights. The leather has a four layer structure that consists of an LED light guide film based layer at the bottom. This layer is covered with a light proof paint which enhances light transmission. There's a transparent fiberglass in the middle allowing the LED below to shine through the TPU leather above it. This has practical uses like backlighting effects for calls, notification, gaming, and charging, and it works similar to the Infinix GT10 Pro that we reviewed earlier or the Nothing Phone and ROG phone, but this time they're using a leather material. There's a section all about it in the settings of the phone that you can tinker around like this one. We have flow lighting, pulse, rhythmic, breathing, vigilance, or blinking. Pretty cool. The leather material here shouts race time with that rugged look and tiny rectangular patterns that allow it for better grip, much like a steering wheel of a race car. In a way, this texture provides good handling of the phone that is better suited even when you don't want to put in the case in it. In fact, the whole time we've been using this device, we have not slapped on the case that came with it. Other than that, the default theme, wallpapers, icons, and color themes included are customized to the Racing Edition. The Magic Ring, a special feature that utilizes the area around the front camera, is a nod to the dynamic island of the Apple iPhone. Cute, but not very original. Everything else inside the phone is identical to the configuration of the original Note 30 VIP. A 6.67 inch AMOLED with Full HD Plus resolution and 120Hz refresh rate. The same MediaTek Dimensity 8055G chipset is here. So is 12 gigs of onboard RAM with 9 gigs of memory fusion or RAM expansion, 256 gigs of internal storage, triple camera system with 108 megapixel main sensor, XOS 30.2 base on Android 13, and a 5000 mAh battery with 68 watt wired charging and 50 watt wireless charging. In terms of performance and benchmarks, we expect the same with the Raising Edition. If you're interested to that numbers, here are the benchmark scores that we got. Battery life will be almost the same and even if that backlighting feature is turned on and always running, it won't make a huge difference. Overall, this is a nice collaboration between Infinix and the BMW group. The 3D lighting leather technology is very interesting and we should be seeing more of it in the future Infinix phone. So what do you guys think about the Infinix Note 30 VIP edition? Does this little guy makes you want to sell your old Infinix Note 30 VIP and replace it with this one? Well, pricing and performance wise, it's already been a good day. This racing edition is simply an icing on the cake, but a really sweet one. Let me know what you guys think about this phone. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you won't miss any future uploads, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, and visit theodak.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Aurel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.